Hi, this is Barry. Welcome to the demo of Cisco Umbrella. We'll start with the overview, um, which is also the main page. So at the top, we can see um, messages that gives us um, a quick overview of events. Sometimes you'll see additional banners here if uh, there are notifications and warnings. Um, the whole page uh, of overview uh, and the majority of the content is time-based, and you can choose to show activities from um, either last 24 hours, yesterday, seven days, or all the way to um, last 30 days. Um, deployment health um, give us a uh, status of the network and the clients that we're managing. So how many active networks we identify and how many roaming clients are off the network and how many virtual appliances deployed for AD integration and gathering user attributes or uh, with the um, um, SIG, you know, how many um, um, active tunnels for, um, you know, secure um, internet gateway. Um, the network breakdown um, shows us total number of requests, uh, blocks, and security blocks. Um, so security, and you can further uh, drill down into whether th those are DNS uh, or proxy blocks. And um, security blocks um, are specific uh, blocks that matches the defined security categories, like, um, you know, the ones are d displayed below, right? So by default, there's um, you know, middleware blocks, of phishing, and command and control. Uh, but you know, you can enable further um, categories uh, by you know uh, things like crypto mining or um, newly seen domains and other things. And the total blocks are focusing, you know, uh, besides that, are you know also focusing on you know um, user behavior kind of categories, right? So, um, so this is the uh, basic overview. Um, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, and also um, firewalls, right? So firewalls, um, we can see the total firewall sessions as well as the blocks, you know, by the firewall. Okay, so let's go into a deployment, and I would like to show you um, the networks. Um, so when we um, start our configuration, the first thing is, you know, how many networks that we and branches that we manage. Um, so very easy to add a new network. So basically, um, all we need to do is uh, to tell, give it a name, and we support IPv4 and IPv6 of um, you know the public uh, uh, IP address of that branch or uh, network, and we support um, IP addresses or blocks of IP addresses, right? So you can also mix IPv4 and v6, um, and for dynamic IP address, you can mark them here. And network devices are, you know, things that we integrate uh, with uh, Umbrella, um, you know, including um, could be uh, firewalls, WLCs, um, or Meraki. Uh, roaming computers are the clients that we protect, um, you know, um, either when they're on-premise or off uh, the campus. Um, so we provide that uh, protection by um, you know, utilizing the roaming client, and we have different options. Uh, one is uh, a roaming client a standalone version of it, and that supports Windows and Mac. Or we could integrate with existing AnyConnect deployment uh, and uh, add the Umbrella roaming security module to it. And we also support mobile devices, Chromebook users, uh, and network tunnels is, you know, the you know, to uh, to utilize Umbrella uh, Firewall, and network devices need to establish, um, you know, a tunnel to Umbrella, and um, uh, we support a wide variety of devices, um, ASA, FTD, ISR, Meraki, Vitella, and others. Next, uh, we'll, we'll take a quick look at um, uh, the report, uh, the policies. So, when defining policy, you know, it's usually a top-down um, kind of like how we define ACLs. And there are different levels. Um, you know, the first uh, layer of defense is a DNS policy and then a firewall and then web policy. And within each of the, um, you know, groups of policies, we can define very granular, um, you know, rules. And like I said, it's top-down. So it, when it match the first rule, it will just, you know, it won't hit the following rules. Um, and we can define like, you know, who, you know, give it a name and define who, um, you know, which identity this applies to and how many policies that, that we want to define under that. 
And also, you know, uh, since we might have a lot of policies, you uh, might want to know what, you know, whether for a certain um, identity, whether a rule apply or, or not, uh, or what rule blocked it or, you know, allowed it. So, you know, you could quickly use the policy tester here and define identities and destination, and you can run test, and it will show the result right here. And with the firewall policy, um, it is a layer four, layer three, um, you know, firewall um, that look very similar to what we can do on um, our, um, you know, Cisco firewalls. Um, you know, we would note that uh, we do have layer seven um, you know, capability that's coming. Uh, but over here, you can see very traditional uh, firewall configuration, you know, what IP protocol and application that we um, either uh, block or allow. And um, you know source destination, um, you know IP and ports and all that information, and also very helpfully shows us you know the hit counts in the past uh, 24 hours, and the last hit, um, you know whether there was no hit or you know when was the last hit that uh, happened, and um, since I said it's top down, so you know um, for example here we um, you know do all the blocks at the beginning and then uh, uh, we do a default allow, right? So um, web policy give us all the granularities um, to control, you know, um, the, the security protection and the categories that we apply um, to different identities. Um, and very similar, very uh, top-down approach, but here we can have way more um, granular control into all the web applications and whatnot. Um, following this, I would like to um, uh, do a quick demo on the uh, reporting. Um, so as we have seen in the overview, um, you know, we, we can see all the security, um, you know, the network breakdown and all the security blocks and the uh, total blocks. Um, you can always drill down to more details and, you know, if you want to see more than just blocks, you can click on this and see all the security events as well, right? Um, and um, same thing here, you know, we can break it down into, you know, all the security requests. Uh, break them down into by destination, by identity, and by type, um, as well as um, showing you all the uh, retrospective events, which is, you know, um, originally, um, you know, uh, treated as maybe unknown or clean, but later on, um, you know, determined um, you know, malicious, um, you know, uh, by either, you know, by AMP and the threat grid. Um, and then we would like to notify you know, the administrator of that and, you know, take uh, actions, right? So that is a, a very brief overview of that. And I would like to also show you um, a very helpful feature here, which is um, top categories. So we can see that, um, you know, uh, if we focus on the security events, we can see uh, how many malware that we have identified um, and um, through DNS and proxy and, um, you know, uh, what we had, um, you know, identified through the uh, uh, AMP and threat grid and through integrations and, um, you know, um, different categories and all that, um, as well as um, um, we could also see activities um, volume, like say, for example, for all the security um, activities, you know, how many we were able to uh, prevent and how many were contained. So continuous, you know, to, to stop it from um, threading, uh, you know, um, the, the threat from um, further uh, spreading. Um, so, you know, like uh, command and control and phishing activities. And another thing I want to uh, quickly show you is um, application discovery. Um, so application discovery gives you a visibility into um, shadow IT and uh, uh, control of, um, you know, give you control of um, cloud applications and, uh, you know, um, help you gain a risk insight to it as well. So which you could, you know, then utilize for optimization and blocking. Um, so Umbrella can discover up to uh, 16,000 different apps and display what's seen and relevant to your environment. And also already categorized, you know, or flagged, um, you know, by category and potential risk level. And you can see a breakdown and, you know, what's being identified and a, a really nice breakdown of all of that information. Um, also, you can take actions based on this, you know, um, 
through um, either, you know, you can, you can look uh, deeper into the applications and their risk level and you can see, you know, how much traffic and how many uh, identified identities are utilizing that and you can drill into details, but, you know, you could also um, control them from right here, like, you know, uh, you want to apply it to certain um, policies and you want to block them there, uh, or um, at least if you want to label them, right, so whether it's approved or not. So I hope this demo give you a overview of how Umbrella uh, operates and, um, you know, what benefits it brings to you. Um, this is the end of the demo. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.